I'm making these cookies for our Bible study. And I've been doing this for years. This is just, it's kind of a fun thing for me because my mom always made chocolate chip cookies. And I, so I have good memories whenever I'm making them. And if it brings people to the Bible study, great, <laughs> all the better. <laughs> this cracks me up. I don't cook a lot, <laughs> except I enjoy making cookies. Well, I kind of tweaked it a little bit because I put a little bit of uh, Heath Bar mix in there. Here's a little advertisement here. <laughs> I don't use a recipe, I just kind of put in what needs to be there. And I think writing can be the same thing. You just go at it with the story begins to tell itself and the characters begin to take over and you just type what they have to tell you. Before I was a Christian, I think the stories were, uh, you know, a man and a woman fall in love. but. Since becoming a Christian, the story is broader because it has to do with Christ in the center of all that and how things happen. And I've been able to take questions to him and ask and try to find his perspective. So actually, being in the Christian market for me uh, enabled me to write about a lot of issues I never could have done in the general market. Anything that you really immerse yourself in, that's what's going to come out of you. So if you're reading scripture all the time, and especially in fiction, you don't want to be stopping a story and, and, you know, preaching. You want it to flow naturally into the work. And so I, I spend a lot of time studying in the mornings, and I study during the day too. But because I want that to just come into the story in a very natural way. I've had people talk about, well, if it's a story and it's a fiction story, it really isn't Christian. But then Jesus used stories in order to teach about the kingdom of God and who God is. But he, you know, the people that just heard the story and walked away, they didn't get the message. But the ones that came to him and asked the question, what are you teaching me here? What are you trying to show me? He explained. So I think it's the same thing with fiction. You know, when people are, are reading it, it's meant to be a bridge back into the real thing. It's never meant to replace scripture. It's to make people hunger and thirst for the real, for the real message. This is the secret, putting in the, the toffee.